Hey y'all, if you're looking for a quick, not so pricey, easy meal, something that's going to get your kids full, something that's going to be pretty good, then this is the place you need to be. So as you know, I'm a wife, a mother of five, and we are constantly on the go. It's volleyball season, it's football season, Monday through Friday, we are running the kids back and forth to practice. Y'all, and let me tell you, I barely had time to do anything. But guess what? We make this thing work. So, usually throughout the week, I am going to my quick, easy meals. But this here is my cheesy chicken, rice, and broccoli casserole. Y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, don't knock it until you try, baby. It may sound like blah. It may sound like, uh, but don't knock it until you try it. I'm trying to tell you, it's really, really good. Anywho, it's one of my go-to meals, and we ate this with croissant rolls, crescent rolls, however you pronounce it. But, yeah, so if you look at the beginning of the video, all of the ingredients are on there, and this is just one of the many casseroles that the kids like to eat. So, yeah, if you have any questions, just hit me up, and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Hey y'all, so if you see my Facebook post yesterday, I was asking what is everyone cooking today? Just because I wanted some new ideas on different foods to cook for my family. And so today I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go down that list of everything that everyone listed. And we, that's what we're going to eat for the remainder of the week and next week. Yesterday I decided to cook breakfast food because that's what my husband was talking about. He wanted some breakfast food. So, and the kids love it also. So, we ate breakfast food yesterday. Today, we're going to eat some taco soup. Something simple, something easy, and of course, it's cost efficient. Y'all, listen. Get into these doggone tab brown seasonings. When I tell you these seasonings, even though they are salt-free, they are so freaking good. Like, make sure you sit here and you add some seasoning that got some salt in it you know, for taste. But as far as the flavor and the savory taste, oh man, they're going to get the job done. So instead of me just emptying my cans of um, ingredients into the crock pot, because that's what I do with my meat. Instead of me just emptying them into there, I rinsed them off and I decided to cook them on a skillet before I emptied them into the crock pot. Once everything is done and it's cooked down, I don't cook it completely, but once everything is done, add everything to the crock pot and this soup was a little bit dry at first. So I had to add me some beef broth, y'all. 